Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to an antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from the Emmitsburg Antique Mall in Emmitsburg, Maryland. So as you can tell by the title of this video, yes, I broke a spending record. I spent $242 and change on this trip. And I think this was from, it's, it was a few months ago. I just went back there about a week ago. Didn't spend nearly as much as I did um, from the last time. But I did get some really good things for resale and a couple things for myself too. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, the Emmitsburg Antique Mall is not really strict on what they let their dealers sell. Like, there's a bunch of people in there who sell like modern, like Boyd's Bears and things that I'm not really interested in. But sometimes I go into those booths anyway because there might be some really cool vintage piece and it's not priced too high. But um, you know, if a mall does offer newer goods. Um, or they don't really care too much that dealers offer newer goods. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. I know to some other people it is. But to me, that just kind of broadens what I can find to sell. Because typically, for the most part, uh, most antique mall vendors don't price modern stuff as high. And you can score some pretty good stuff for resale, so... I can't remember exactly off the top of my head like what I paid individually because I don't have the invoice with me, but if it was reasonable enough, I was picking it up. Like, trust me, I really was. So this is the first item I'd like to share with you all. It's one of the larger items. This is a CVS exclusive uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Snow White figurine and displayer. I think it's from about 2002. It was done by Inesco. Again, it's brand new in the box, never been opened. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, this is listed in my eBay store if this is something you are interested in purchasing. And yeah, so go ahead and check out my store for that. All right, this is the next item that I would like to share with you all that is brand new and sealed. Uh, this is the Barbie decor collection from the 1990s. Uh, it's made with real fabric. And that was really interesting to me because I'd never seen that before. And what year is this from? I think it's from 98. I uh, thought it would say on the bottom. I guess not. Maybe we'll go to the back. Oh, it was on the back. Yep, from 1998. It is just all fabric furniture. I mean, isn't, doesn't that scream 1990s? Holy cow. So I picked that up. And again, that is listed in my eBay store. Um, I looked up comps. And these go for over 50 bucks, depending on what you got. So I was tickled pink to be able to find that. So the last time I was at this mall, there was a booth that was there. And it was one of those booths where the stuff was stagnant. It was just a mixture of modern and random, like, vintage junk. Stuff just wasn't moving. It was, it, it, yeah. And it was 20 off and the prices were not all that great. Um, so anyway, that booth is actually gone. They moved out or they got, they just weren't doing well. So I picked up a scarf that I really liked. I think it was this one right here. This really like 1970s, 60s, 70s floral scarf. Got that. Um, and I think one of them, like this one didn't have a price on it. This one didn't have a price on it. So I brought something up to compare it to so they didn't have to call the dealer because she had a bunch of them. And they ended up charging me for the one that I didn't want. So I got stuck with a couple of those. But, you know, that's that's all right. That's just how that is sometimes. I mean, I'm probably, I'll probably get a little bit of money for them. This one I'll probably ask a little bit more for because it's a lot more intricate in detail. All righty. So I did get some really cool figurines and some other fun tchotchkes for really reasonable prices. So, uh, these items here came from a an area called the Bargain Booth. Last time I was there, I cleaned them out. Some of the stuff had been sitting there for a while. I'm kind of amazed that some of it wasn't gone because it was really good. It, the prices were good. Some of the stuff in there is priced kind of high for what is there, but 
you know, I'm sure with time that it'll, somebody will come in and buy it. I couldn't remember if I had the creamer or the sugar to this set. This is uh, Tea Room. I think it's by, is it Anchor Hawking or Indiana Glass for Tea Room? I almost want to say it's Indiana Glass. So I got that. That was, that was a really good deal. That's why I picked that up. And then I found a bunch of these restaurant creamers. I got eight of them. And I got them for a stellar price apiece. So those will be up for grabs if anybody's interested in them. Of course, you can email me about it. Look at this salt and pepper shaker set, you guys. It's an iron and a sewing machine. How adorable is that? I don't know if they go together or not, but they look really good together. They were sold as a set. I also got these three Pixies. They were marked all for one money. So we got this guy right here. These would look fun in a garden. I will be keeping these, you guys. Sorry to disappoint. But I got all three of them for $4. No damage, no repairs, which is amazing. And then I got the this one here. They all need a little bit of a clean in, but a magic eraser should touch those or clean those up of the dirt, no problem. Alrighty, so here are some more fun treasures that I picked up. I did get another hair receiver. I do pick these up when they are reasonably priced, free of any damage. People like to have these for their vanities. So I do pick those up when the price is right. This was just a really interesting piece of glass. It looks like a trophy. The base is green and the handles are green. They don't glow, unfortunately, but it is still a really nice piece nonetheless. If you wanted to, you could clean that up and put some candy corn in it or maybe some other like jelly beans for springtime. So many possibilities. This is a stunner, you guys. Look at this purple amethyst piece. It's got a really cool uh, design on it. I haven't done much research on it. I just think it's really cool. It's got kind of an optic look to it. So I went ahead and got that. The price was really reasonable on that. And then I found this footed compote candy dish, iridescence. So that was cool. Like I said, guys, I went a little nuts finding stuff this cool around to the Emmitsburg Antique Mall. Like it was crazy. That's why I spent over 200 bucks. And then I found this jewelry casket. I'm not exactly sure what the image is. Maybe that's just a flower. It is got a little bit of damage here, but to me that just adds to the charm of it. And I thought to myself, polish it up, but I'm like, no, I think I'll leave it as is because that just kind of adds to the age of it. I don't think it's got a name on it, but yes, that is just a phenomenal piece. So now I have some kind of kitschy type items that I'd like to share with you all. Like I said, I found a crap ton of different items, both new and old, mostly vintage, of course, because I was in an antique mall, but excuse me. It's just some cool stuff. So this is really neat. I think this is, well, it's not left in, but I just loved the pattern on it. The blue stripes and the pink that came out of the bargain booth. Look at this white iridescent kitty cat with the rhinestone eyes. Isn't that just amazingly kitschy? This is made by Lefton. And one did sell on eBay for about $36.50. So I will probably list mine for about $35. And see what happens there. That should be up in my store if you happen to be interested in it. It doesn't have any damage on it that I can see, which is amazing. I have bought and sold this salt and pepper shaker set before. It's the mailman and the post office. Mailman and the post office. Mailman and the mailbox. I just thought those were really, really fun. These I really liked. I'm not sure. I hope they don't, they're not deemed offensive to anybody. They're just Native Americans. And it looks like they are actually considered Nike Americans because they don't seem to have any clothes on. But they're ne there's no nether regions on them. I almost want to say I have a pair of these already. These Santa salt and pepper shakers. They have to be made in Japan. Because I don't see any makes makers on them. Those were really fun. 
I did get some brooches. Look at that one, you guys. Ooh, let's focus. There we go. Isn't that pretty? The bells and the different colored rhinestones. I don't see a maker on it. I'll have to look a little bit closer, but the price was right, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. I might be keeping this one. Looks like a demon Santa with the red eyes, doesn't it? Enamel paint. But he was fun. And then I found a circus elephant. How cute is that? No maker's mark again, but super cool. And running with the kitsch, I did find some sitting skunk salt and pepper shakers. So those I think originally came on a bench, but that bench is no longer present. Alrighty, moving right along. I did get this really cool bank. It's a little bit faded, but I think that just adds to the charm of it. It's the official League Ball um, baseball bank, made in U.S. I think it's a Chen. Yeah, oh no, sorry, Ohio Art. Might take a magic eraser to that just to touch it up a little bit and clean it up. That was a fun find. I did find a really cool little squeaker toy, and he still works. He's marked the Regent Baby Products Corp 1976 made in Korea. So if you know somebody who is a construction worker, or maybe he's a fisherman. I'm sorry, he might be a fisherman, not a construction worker. Yes, he's probably a fisherman. <laughs> He'd be a fun little addition to any kind of like display. I did find a couple pieces of vintage Halloween. If the boy decides not to eat the baseball. I can share them with you all. I got a witch and I got a black cat. They are older and I love them. So those will be staying with me. Sorry guys, I, anytime I find vintage Halloween, I usually keep it unless it's something I already have. I did find this really nice ornament here with stars on it. It's blue, you guys know I love my blue. Um, I think this might be a shiny bright. Yep, it's a shiny bright ornament. Made here in the U.S. Love that. I think that was only like a dollar. And what it was sitting in was this really nice duck planter. Great for that outdoorsy lover. It's very clean, no damage. So I thought somebody out there would love to have that. So I went ahead and bought that. And these I actually bought a whole set of. They were individually priced but 20% off. These are Turtle Demitas Cups. They are marked Boscher Wieden, Bavaria, Germany. It says Luray and then Frankfurt, which I know is in Germany. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but it's Grossikuch Neinrichtungen. I'm sure I mispronounced that horribly, but I got a whole set of these. I did look them up before I bought them, and I think that they were definitely worth buying. So those were an awesome find. All right, I did pick up some really awesome blue glass. I gotta be careful here. I think we're safe. So this is an ice bucket. I believe that this is part of the Hazel Atlas sports line. I love the ship on there. That is just phenomenal. And I got that 20% off an already reasonable price. So that is gonna stay with me. This, I want to say, is made... Okay, that's making me nervous, so we're going to do that just so it doesn't fall. This, I want to say, is made by Fenton. I could be very wrong about that. Make sure there's no damage. I don't think there's any cracks or chips. I love that bubbly texture. It does not glow, but it is still a very nice piece nonetheless. I'm just going to set you down right here. And this is a piece of Northwood Blue Opalescent. How do I know it's Northwood? There is an N stamped right here. I love that blue, that translucent opalescent blue into like that aqua color. I have no idea on the name of the pattern. If I find out before this video uploads, I will go ahead and uh, insert it into the video. So those were some more fun finds. All right, some more fun pieces that I found. This is absolutely interesting to me. I have not seen a bowl quite like this. I just thought it was very, very neat. 
I will do a quick, I'll do a Google Lens search, see if that gets me anywhere. And if I find some kind of a hint as to what it might be, I can always look up the names that I get just to get an idea of exactly what I have there. This, I believe, is a skipper outfit, just like the skipper jumper that she wears. I think I have two skipper dolls, and one of them needed clothes, so I went ahead and picked that up. And this I've actually been looking for for quite a while. This is a uh, pottery clown alert. Uh, clown lamp. It is made by Lane Co and Company. So Lane Furniture issued this. The pottery itself was done in Van Nuys, California, and it is marked right here, 1961. It just might be really hard to see. I have seen this lamp at flea markets. I've seen it at antique stores, and I've seen them for as high as $40 at antique stores, and of course, I'm not paying that. So, and of course, it's missing all of the hardware for it to be a lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of the thrift stores that we have here, see if I can find some really ugly old lamp that's just not, nobody's interested in purchasing for really inexpensive. Take the hardware off and put it onto this lamp because I love this. And I've been looking for it for a long time. All right, so here are some more fun pieces. I did find a nautical... Sailor Valentine. This is old. This is probably from the 30s, maybe. Made in the U.S. Love that. How stinking adorable are these? These are Joseph Original Monkey figurines. Not seen these before. There is the gold and black stamp for Joseph Original. And these are part of their Monkey Jungle line, which were in Miami, Florida. I love the monkey holding the clock and the one looking at the banana peel. I just could not leave those. And I think it was like six for both of them. And one of these, not one of these two specifically, or maybe the one holding the banana, one sold for about $35. So I might list both of these for maybe 80 bucks and see what happens if I decide to sell them. More than likely I will by the time this video goes up, but we'll see. Now this bingo game came out of a booth that was 20% off. I know that Pam Blanchard does make bingo cards for the different holidays, and the game was like $2.40. The box is completely roached. So let me take the stuff out of there so you all can see what was in there. So there were a bunch of these little loose wooden pegs. A bunch of those. Then there's some black ones and some other red ones. I think those are part of what's in here, so I may take those out. But then there's two of these, and then there's a whole bunch of these cards. I mean, look at that orange one. How great would that be for Halloween? Then there's some green ones, these like dark tannish ones. These look like a really dark green. But yeah, there's a bunch of them in there, and I think Pam might be able to use these. I'll have to message her and see. But I know that when she crafts and makes the um, the bingo cards, she prefers the older ones. The older bingo cards, that is. So I said, what the heck, for a couple dollars, I will take that risk. So this is really cool. I, I'm not sure why I decided to get it, but I liked it anyway. It's just a Lazy Susan. It's got bowls on it. Needs a good cleaning, but it is in good shape overall. And it rotates. I may have to tighten the screw on the bottom because it's a little bit loose. But I thought that would be great for serving like nuts or, you know, maybe dips for like chips and salsa night, things like that. And the last item that I would like to share with you all from my trip to the Emmitsburg Antique Mall is. This really amazing lady head vase. Usually when I see these, they're priced kind of high or a little bit too high for me to pick up for resale. But this one, I couldn't believe, was only $15. I mean, it has one small little nick up at the top there. But the fact that her earrings and her necklace are still 
there is quite remarkable. She may need a little bit of cleanup, like I'll take a magic eraser to her face just to move, remove some of the dirt and such, but she's in good shape. And you know, I don't mind if maybe like a finger's missing or if an earring's missing on these. I mean, if you all remember a while back, I found this one at the Hancock Antique Mall and she's missing an earring, but I don't mind. I have a small collection of these going and it's Dee's fault because I, I used to not really go for these because I thought they were kind of feminine and I mean, it's a lady head, but you know, liking pinup and liking the way that a woman looked back in the day, these just kind of add to it and kind of give you like a 3D visual of beauty standards for women back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s and going into the 70s. So that's why I went ahead and picked this up. You probably saw it on my Instagram, and I did post a picture of it on my community tab, but I just wanted to get on here and talk to you all about her, because I think she is just absolutely marvelous. And for $15, I think nobody in their right mind would pass something up like this for that price. So folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to the Emmitsburg Antique Mall. Holy sh did I find a lot of good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching.